Look at what I just did at the gas station. Damn, all of this yellow stuff bent all that. Took the took the grate off. All this yellow all the way back to here. Jesus. Well, you got to learn somehow, right? it up. It's not that bad. Mostly aesthetic, except we'll see if this door works. All right, I already fucked it up. I went to get gas and scraped the side on the little gas things. So I already fucked up my RV. Already. Just like that. Uh, the whole left side. I'll show you. I'll show you. And now I'm trying to figure out how to get out of the gas station man. <laughs> well, I got that out of the way. First thing. First thing. Day one. First thing. Day one. All right. We're going to try to back out onto this street. Let's see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Okay. We got it. We got it. Thank you. Proceed to the route. Right. Okay. We got this. In half a mile, turn left onto Southeast Division Street. We, got this. we can do it. Yeah. We got this. Let's see how the air works. Normal. Let's see. So, day two. Spent the night in a hotel near, uh, well, near the airport in Portland, and uh, I was feeling, um, I don't know, a little overwhelmed and a little, uh, I don't know, just, it was a lot to take in yesterday <laughs> with the, uh, um, the gas station and the whole deal. So today, uh, I've decided to take this baby into um, an auto mechanic. So I found a Ford truck dealership that has a service department that'll give it a once over. I called a lot of different places to see if they were available to get me in today. And I found one, but they can't take me until four. So I decided we're gonna practice driving because that needs to happen. <laughs> so fortunately, uh, right by the hotel, uh, is an Ikea and it was a little bit of an adventure getting over to the Ikea but the little tiny mirrors that are on the bottom corners of the side mirrors those are my friends those are the fucking friends uh, so now I'm here in the Ikea parking lot and we're gonna get going uh, practice a little k-turn this is this is the sound it makes when I hit the brake at the wrong time there's a brake alarm on this thing. If the emergency brake is on and I hit the brake, it makes that alarm. It's actually a really great uh, safety device, I think. So here we go in the IKEA parking lot. We're just gonna have a little drive, drivey poo. I'm checking. Uh, I'm checking my mirrors on each side to see where the back end is swinging out to because the wheels don't are not all the way in the back the wheels are farther forward and there's another like I don't know 10 feet behind the wheels so when you turn that 10 feet is swinging out and uh, I want to see how far it swings out so that I don't hit stuff with it I don't want to slap people with my butt you know what I'm saying <laughs> So this is working out well so far. And of course, I forgot to bring the tripod. So that I could get an outside shot. But I'm just, I'm feeling more excited and more confident today uh, than I did yesterday. 
there was a lot going on yesterday. It was all very, very new. And now I have time to uh, set myself up to practice. YouTube channels that told everybody to uh, just take your time and slow down. That's legit. That is legit advice right there. So, all right. So here I'm going to stop here. did a K-turn in the parking lot at the hotel and uh, also I'm still getting used to where to look on the camera it's right I believe it's right there <laughs> Actually, even can look at the back uh, window. There's a huge window in the back with a rear view mirror. Yeah, so these little mirrors I gotta get used to looking at. Good, right? Good stuff! Okay. First meal in my new home. It's a ham and cheese baguette from Ikea because I practiced driving in a parking lot. It was a bad choice. I should have got the meatballs. Bippity boppity bippity boop. Okay. I just dropped the RV off to have the engine checked out before I go home. And it's going to be a few hours. So. I decided to see some sights. So I came to the, you can't read this probably because it's backwards, International Rose Test Garden. And uh, I thought that sounds great. And I ordered a, a lift and took a ride down here and driving up the hill, I thought, well, this is Oregon, not California where things are growing and blooming all the time. So the roses are not in bloom. I bet when they're in bloom, they're gorgeous. So I just took a 20 minute ride to see some dirt lots. <laughs> oh, but it is beautiful up here. There's lots of pretty trees. It's very naturey. The air is crisp. We drove through a really nice neighborhood to get here. I think it's called Washington Park. And uh, drove through downtown Portland, I believe, to get here. Um, so there's some cool little trails too. I'm just gonna walk the trails. Um, but also Portland has some very talented graffiti artists, uh, some that need a little work, but a lot of them very nice and uh, very admirable tent villages. <laughs> this is more my speed. This is gorgeous. I found some really cool trails We're surrounded by giant trees. It's gorgeous. Look at this. Trees everywhere. <laughs> when I cut this little. <laughs> oh, look at this. That's beautiful. What a great trail. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Beepity boppity, bippity bop. Bobbity bobbity bop. 
bippity 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 boop boop bop boop 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 skilly dat 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 did dilly do all right good morning this is uh day three with uh, the rv we're here at the les schwab tire center I have them check out the air pressure and stuff in the tires our uh engine inspection went well nothing to really speak of um but the tires are old he recommended new ones, but the uh, Les Schwab guys last night said the tires were fine. So we're going to have them check the pressure this morning, make sure they're at their proper PSI, and, um, and then we'll be on our way. I had a phone call last night with my friend David, and he said, Did you pick a name yet? Because I had a dream that you named your RV Betty Lou. And... Uh, that I haven't come up with a name yet. I've just been calling her Baby Blue for right now. And he was like, Betty Lou, Baby Blue. Maybe I just misheard in my dream. <laughs> so, welcome Betty. This is Betty Lou. <laughs> uh, that's her name, y'all, Betty Lou. Uh, I'm just gonna call her Betty. But um, yeah, it just, seemed like kismet and uh, it really fits so this is Betty hee <laughs> hee that's all you want 65 psi got it all right Second time getting gas. I'm gonna go over there and park, but let's see if my practice paid off so that I don't hit the guardrail. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Look at that, success. Success. <laughs> we will not be hitting anything today. No siree. Thank you for watching episode three of Joe and Jax. I'm so excited we're getting this started and you might be thinking, hey, where's Jax? Well, we'll get there. You will meet Jax, you, just you wait. So like if you liked it, and subscribe if you want to see more, and especially if you want to see Jax. All right, thanks, bye.